Something I've been trying to obviously make the most of with this new flat situation. <laughs> I mean, it's not new. I've almost been here for half a year now. Can you actually believe that? Is obviously filming in different, different locations, finding good spots in the flat that I think work well for a video. I just had my camera on this tripod. This is why I don't wear lipstick because my hair always gets stuck to it. It's not there anymore because I put the camera on charge straight away because I'm filming a lot today. I want to film two videos and I kind of had a situation where I filmed the mirror that was filming me. No, wait, what? I filmed the mirror that was reflecting me doing makeup in front of it. I've got the studio light on over there to kind of help with lighting, but I don't know how it panned out. I'm not really sure how it's going to look, but like I said, I want to try different um, places around the house. Try and figure out lighting and stuff, because I tried filming in front of, oh, the white brick wall in the kitchen for a video, and the lighting was so funky, so I need to master that. And also get your guys' opinions on different places I film and like your favorite setup. So feel free to let me know in the comment section. Don't think you're being rude just say to me this didn't work very well or this was really nice like I like the way you did this because I don't have like anyone to tell me these things I could ask Adam but I know he'll just be like yeah it looks cool anyway hello good morning today I actually had a very early start I got up with Adam at half seven and then I started my day at eight I tried to get lots of things done I've done a tarot reading I filmed a video done a bit of admin stuff I dyed my hair as well it's 2 p.m. I did not want pink and it's all also patchy so I've tried to re I really have tried to like that new hair dye guys that I made a video with I think it's called headshot or something blue banana are now releasing it headshot um, oh God, it's the bright red one bright red right I put it in my hair and this is what comes out I'm absolutely fuming because it took me so long to get red because of what I've got underneath this this hair I bleached it all out because of what I've got underneath this hair color I bleached it all out put the red on it looked good and then now it's gone pink because that uh, headshot stuff has it's a pink base without a doubt like I really tried to like it if you hadn't seen the video on my channel it's this stuff here headshot you put it on with wet hair so it kind of like is so much easier to apply so I was really excited about the new concept like a new I'm gonna sit on the toilet and have this conversation with you a new kind of way to dye my hair that seemed a lot easier but it's very pink based so you, you like this does not look close to what's on my head right now and I've got a busy couple of weeks ahead which is why I'm vlogging because I've got some cool things coming up that I want to capture on camera and I wanted to have red hair for it if I'm going to be honest so tonight when I have more time I'm going to wash out as much of this as possible and try and put on some manic panic on top and see what happens because my god if it stays pink I will be pissed and to make matters worse it's patchy it hasn't applied colour at all in some places yay anyway the plan for today is um, I'm gonna film one more video I want to do a expectations versus reality of self-employment I've always wanted to sit down and talk about self-employment which led me to having an idea of making a series that basically focuses on all the kind of things I expected uh, going into stuff like college uni um, moving away, uh, living on my own, living with my boyfriend. Um, there are so many different things you kind of put yourself into and have some form of expectations. And I wanna do a series of videos that focuses on so many different things. I mean, it could literally be anything. They could be about sex, they could be taboo topics, but they could also be things that are a little bit more mundane, like expectations of going on a date like i've got so many ideas for this series so if that's something that you think you might like let me know in the comments be like yeah that sounds good or be like no that sounds like crap but i've got ideas i've got ideas and then after i've filmed i'm going to head out even though it's windy as hell out there because i need to go to the bank to cash in a check and i need to go to the post office to post a letter out to a patron who just had her birthday i'm very very late sorry zara if you're watching i love you there's a tear on my patreon that promises handwritten letters and I'm doing my best 
just to send out ones that happen that like go with an occasion so i need to get some halloween cards i want to send people halloween cards it's really hard to like uh think of a time throughout the summer that i could send out cards for because like nothing was going on i sent valentine's day cards out one year i thought that was a really fun idea um which reminds me if you're a patron watching make sure your address is up to date otherwise i'm gonna send a random a, a valentine's day card or a christmas card or a new year card and then whilst i'm in town i'm probably just gonna go to the library and edit some videos there because i haven't actually tested out the local library to me yet just to see for like the vibe if i want to work there in the future as in like work on my laptop and then i'm going to meet adam as he um ferries across the river that i'll be looking over from the library because it looks over a river <laughs> and he ferries across that to get home from work so i'll meet him on the way home from work and then we'll bus home and then tonight we're playing a really fun new game has it actually been delivered yet oh i'm supposed to be waiting for it today it's a new PlayStation game. It's one of those ones where you like make the choices and, and, and your actions are supposed to, no, it hasn't arrived yet, that's sad. I hope it does arrive actually, because Adam's been so excited about this. Your um, actions ha come with consequences and it's a two player, I think, like more than one person can play it, which is really rare for a game like that. We love um, Detroit and we also loved uh, Life is Strange and I'm also playing Heavy Rain at the moment. Haven't finished it yet, um, but we love games like that. So Adam's really excited about having Friday night playing that, and I'll film that when it gets here. I can't remember what it's called, so I'll have to tell you when it arrives. And we've got lots of fun stuff happening tomorrow as well, so I'm gonna bring you along with me and I'll explain it all when I get to that point. All right, so I've had a little change of plan. Um, I'm actually really like tired. I'm at top. <laughs> See, I'm tired and I'm in a little bit of a daze, and I don't like filming in those moods because you can tell like when I'm not feeling great when you watch back a video of me in this sort of tired-ish unsure mood about like basically any fresh air so I figured I'm gonna go out and do the bank and post office stuff now I'm not actually uh going to stay in the library i don't think i might pop in the library just to like scope it out but not actually work there today get an idea of like any locations i can sit in preferably oh, i'm gonna get out and have some fresh air and then come back and film before adam comes home from work and i can officially clock out because i'm trying to time it so i don't have to film when he's here because i don't really like filming when adam's home the only issue is i'm still waiting for the video game and adam said it will arrive here any minute and they could very technically oh <laughs> it's been posted <laughs> i was gonna say they could very easily put it through that letterbox but i know what people are like so let, let me just double check put you put you on our new bookshelf that this is actually it i know adam will be mad at me for, te for opening his package but i kind of want to go out and i don't want to he here it is man of i think it's pronounced madan yeah i'm gonna go out early get some fresh air because um, I need some. I'm so tired. I'm gonna come back and film. Um, also, check out our bookshelf. I somewhat organised it a bit more because it was a bit of a mess. Um, I still want <laughs> these characters are a bit mumbly jumbly. And I put the books down here at the bottom, which don't look very organised. Books never seem to like look nice on bookshelves. And then I've got like box sets on this one and more DVDs. <laughs> We have so many DVDs. So we're gonna put more plushies so it fills in this gap here. He's left gaps for my plushies because I don't have uh, all my plushies yet. My mum and dad are coming up with them next week. And down here, I wanna put kind of like what I want basically. And it can kind of change with the seasons as well. So in Christmas time, I can kind of decorate chunks of the shelves. How cute are these little guys? Um, fun fact, I didn't realize how much this was worth until he unboxed it and uh, he kicked himself because he doesn't even like him. <laughs> also, I like how this middle section is um, tall enough for plants too. By the way, that was our little jet. <laughs> Does anyone remember our jellyfish? It's like a little pump and you put water in it and the jellyfish like float around. We need to set that up again soon. That would look cute here, but there's a wire. So we'll have to put this somewhere a bit more appropriate I think
so it seems like the museum has a exhibition on at the moment that's focused on everything space which is cool and the galaxy did i say museum i meant um library although it's kind of like a museum as well and they've also got this little uh, documentary thing that they're playing at the back which is quite cute it tells you what it will be like to travel in space which is wicked yeah you get to like kind of spaceship where it was as in space but to be honest it's a lot more difficult than John and I ever imagined. To become an astronaut you have to learn how to use very complex equipment and understand how objects behave in space. So let's stick the kettle on. Um, <clears throat> it seems that the library actually is really, I mean, I knew it was nice. I've been there before, but I never actually like looked at it from a point of view, like as someone who was contemplating like studying there, studying, that's not really right, like working there. And the view is like really, really lovely. And um, you could probably tell by the footage how nice like everything is and how cute it would be to work in a little space like that. But the only issue I had was um, there was like no laptop space. There is so much room there for them to put a bunch of tables down for people to bring their laptops in and work there. Um, it just seems like such a waste of space. I know like it's really modern to like have lots of open space and I just feel like they should utilize that a little bit more. Um, but I guess because it wasn't, it wasn't very busy at all, I could probably bag myself a table and that view is amazing. So I'm definitely taking advantage of that. Um, I hope I was kind of hoping to find somewhere like that near the beach like the other side because town's that way for me and the beach is that way and, I, and it, the beach is like just outside my doorstep so I would have loved to maybe gone somewhere like that um, but closer to the beach uh, maybe I'll find something eventually but uh, I, I feel a bit funny going in cafes because it sounds very very <laughs> stingy but I don't want to get in the habit of buying coffee out side of the house just to sit and work at my laptop i can't justify paying like coffee place prices just to like sit on my laptop and work you know what i mean <laughs> so this was my little setup this time i have my little notes my little chair cute i've just finished filming it um i think it went well i won't really know until i edit it <sighs> if um i missed out anything but hey ho, Adam's home now. He popped in when I was on my second to last expectation. So, um. Just showing your beautiful face. My tired end of the week face. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Just, I thought we had a good weekend coming, so I vlogged my day and I'm gonna vlog the weekend. Told them that we're gonna play Mama. Ma, 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 ma. Man, man of Madame. Madame, what's it? <laughs> man of Madame. How, how did you cook this last time? Did you put it in the wok or something? Um, I put oil in the hob and put that in. Did it. you put it in the hob? Yeah. Adam literally just come through the door and he's already on dinner. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Trained boy. To be fair, I make dinners most of the time, don't I? <gasps> yeah, but that's our choice. I don't ask it. Right, I'm having a wee bit of a dilemma. Um because I'm trying to get rid of this purple that's like haunting my hair I figured to look at the colour wheel and try and see what's on the opposite side of 
purple to try and cancel it out so apparently it's yellow and luckily I actually have some yellow hair dye so what I'm thinking I mean I was gonna put yellow on this purple and then turn the hair orange and then put red on top which may have been a wise idea what I've decided to do though is put the yellow in the red mix it together and hopefully create a yellow based red I don't know if this is gonna work I'm really nervous because it's probably going to make the situation 10 times worse. But I really want my hair nice for this weekend and week coming up. So pray to the gods. So far, so eyes on god knows what's gonna happen honestly i just think it's gonna make the same as last time but darker <laughs> play it by ear i guess but now adam's been waiting very patiently 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 we can play his game oh yeah <laughs> it's like half nine in the afternoon in the evening <laughs> i did not expect to be this long but you gotta do what you gotta do when your hair's looking pants and you've got a big weekend ahead you don't want to look like an idiot <laughs> Bonjour, good morning. Uh, it's not the morning. Uh, it's the next day now. As you can see, my hair has definitely uh, changed. I think I've removed all the purple tone out now and replaced it with orange, which was the goal. Uh, it looks really red in camera, but it does have like a hint of orange to it in real life. Because my hair just seemed to have faded to purple every single time. Um, there would be like this very dark tone of it. Anyway, hello. Um, today is a very exciting day and I've been looking forward to it for a while. We are firstly going out for dinner with Adam's family. We're gonna go out for a Chinese. So as you can probably imagine, I'm buzzing. And then um, we're going back to Betty's house, good old Adam's grandma's house. Hopefully, I feel like I talk about her so much, but she's really actually <laughs> in the vlog. So hopefully I can get some footage of her tonight but i definitely will in one part of this vlog because we are going to a musical tonight called the dolly mixtures it's a musical that's based on a real story and the real story happens to have adam's grandma involved within it so the musical is a local um production but i feel like it's honestly when i, I saw it three years ago I honestly thought it was just as good as something I've seen like in any other part of the country like I don't think it should stay local personally but I might just be being biased but basically the musical is a story that follows is it six Adam? eight, ten, <laughs> just basically a group of ladies from the northeast who is it all ladies? yeah who are who were like a variety act and who used to perform around the northeast to, do, to different like um, gentlemen clubs and pubs and stuff and they used to raise money and I think they raised a, raised a total of like a hundred thousand pounds especially back then that's even more money than it is to us now so they did a lot of work in their own time and they spent a lot of time doing these performances for people uh, just so they can raise money for cancer research and I don't know how many of, I don't, it'd be interesting to know how many of you guys have maybe heard of them before that would be really cool wouldn't it but if anyone has like connections with knowing someone who maybe knew them, I don't know. But basically they wrote a musical about it because it was such a cool story. They do these silly acts that are like them dressed up as like chickens or like dressed up as really extravagant things that are just silly and fun. And 
the reason why they did that was to make people laugh and obviously donate to charity so they've made a musical out of their story and their journey and it's so so good and i really want to get a um cd of all the songs today if there is one for sale because i remember the songs being really really good anyway this is the final night that they're performing so we're having the last and final kind of send off and then hopefully we're gonna have some sort of birthday not birthday we're gonna have some sort of uh bash afterwards i'm not sure if we will but we did three years ago and three years ago when i watched it i was a month into the relationship with adam so i don't remember a lot about the musical i just remember it like taking me by surprise i was really really nervous because i i was dating adam for a month and he was like right let's fly to the <laughs> let's fly to see my family and i'll take you to go and see the dolly mixtures which is a performance on based on my grandma and i was like what is going on okay <laughs> uh, so i met basically all his family in one room and it was very tense but it was fine because everyone was so friendly i've never known like a family to be so kind of welcoming and nice i don't remember a lot of it because of that because i was taking everything in and everything was so like crazy and, and new and fresh and no one knew who i was and all sorts so i'm excited to see it in a relaxed attitude and it's cool to think that i actually live here now and i'm i'm just like popping down the road to go see it rather than flying up the the country but i hope it comes back for another time in like a few years or something that'll be wicked so this is my outfit do 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 i decided to go with quite a retro vibe oh, uh, together. <laughs> what? What? i was like i'm gonna film this and she's like oh let me put my ball back can it still put in half it doesn't matter just oh, eat your no. damn ball <laughs> Oh, this is lemon. Lemon cello. Oh, I like that. Okay. Thank you. Charles. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. everyone so it is not the next day it's actually monday now a couple of days after the day that you just saw um i had such a lovely time everyone had such a lovely time it was so nice being able to watch their story again and just feeling inspired all over again to help out your local charities or just be inspired to do something that will benefit a charity that means a lot for you in whatever reason um so really really loved it and uh, also support your local theater as well i always stand by that because you'll be very surprised about the kinds of performances your local theater is able to do like most people assume the only kind of performance worth seeing is in the west end um so go check out this is your little reminder to say go check out what your local cinema uh, what your local theater is showing right now anyway god can't stop touching my hair because it really needs brushing. The vlog's gonna end today. This is the last uh, day this uh, that's appearing in this vlog. But in fact, I didn't even know whether I wanted to film today. I was just gonna do a sign out and then say that was kind of the end of this video. But a bit of drama happened last night. So we spent the day just kind of chilling and cleaning some of the house. We were a little hungover, so we didn't do too much. <sighs> but my mum and dad are actually coming up tomorrow morning, so. Last night I was like, okay, I'll put some bleach around the bathroom, I'll clean bits up here and there, have it kind of ready for the next day. There is still so much that I need to get done, but um, I, w I don't want my parents thinking I live in some sort of trash hole. So I've noticed in life, if there is anything not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> I've just figured there's like a pattern in my life where if I try hard, I end up 
effing up. Like the more I try doing something well, is the more likely that I'm going to mess up, cook up somewhere and end up taking two giant leaps backwards. And the things I'm very chill about and don't worry about, they tend to just kind of like, they're fine, they're fine. Like if, I, if I don't try very hard, it's fine. So Ellie here is in the bathroom, like I'm just gonna maybe clean the blinds for the first time because they're a bit dusty. You know, I can get some of the crap off, like it's, it might be, I don't know, a bit dirty. So I get the antibacterial spray give a few spritz on the blinds we've got these black blinds and i really like them they're cute so i spray the blinds leave the bathroom i go out here I, with my spray i put the spray back under the sink where it lives originally and i walk back into the bathroom look at what i've just sprayed and i could have laid an actual egg I nearly pooed myself when I glanced up at this. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. Like, imagine witnessing that, right? <laughs> I don't even know the best lighting to show you this because you can't even see it properly. Imagine witnessing that on your black blinds. This is my favorite room in the flat, guys. I took out the wooden plank that sits like at the bottom of the blinds. It like goes in um, the kind of like little hole here. It slots in there. I took it out so that I could probably assess the situation, see if I could put the blinds in the wash quickly or something. But the back is coated in plastic and I don't think that's the best move to make. And so then I had a look at how much material was left and there's a lot of material to work with. So I came up with the idea to chop off all of the section that is infected with the spray and then kind of fold it up and sew it along, which is basically what has, you know, been done down here. So basically, you know, <laughs> measure it and everything, cut it and then fold it properly and then stitch it up just in the meantime but obviously i had to run that through with my landlord first i couldn't just go making diy projects around the house without the landlord's permission so i had to obviously message her and she is very approachable she does understand but she did say you know sure like give that a try but <sighs> eventually they're going to have to be replaced it's not the fact that like the broken blinds is making me upset it's just the fact that everything just seems to be piling on top of me at once like <laughs> like there's so many different things we're having to buy because things just keep going wrong around this this not it's not much of this flat it's just like responsibilities and they're building up and i know it's just a it's just a bloody blind it doesn't matter there's so many other like random purchases i've had to make that i didn't know i had to make and there are so many things i knew i had to make but then them adding on to things that are cropping up like with the mold situation even sprays that we bought to kind of combat that has caused issues so like the more i try to be active about something the more that is likely to go wrong and it's really stressing me out oh, my bloody mum and dad are coming up tomorrow and this goes and happens i'm just... <laughs> for now i mean i've been given the okay from the landlord she knows i'm gonna have to replace it anyway so i can literally do what i want with this damn blind if i want to try and do something about it. So I am gonna give it a snip just for now. I don't have the time to stitch it right now. Um, so I will just give it a, like a snip and then that way we still have lines without fucking spray stuff on. I can fold it and stitch it up at a later date. <clears throat> um, and if anyone's wondering, that kind of red stain means that the spray had bleach in. I work a lot with bleach because of my hair, obviously, and if I ever get bleach on my clothes, like this top, for example, would have like red specks on it. When bleach touches like material, it goes red. It just takes the color out and leaves this red residue. I don't really know. So there is nothing we can do about this. This isn't reversible because this is damage that's been made and it will be like that and stay like that, even if I scrubbed away at it.
more scared than I thought I was going to be. Ooh, I stopped the little one. <laughs> So there were sequins from the birthday balloons that I had stored in the fireplace for a while just sort of lying there and they were gold and I thought the best way to get rid of them is to probably be with them because if I keep on trying to sweep them up I'm not going to actually end up collecting them, I'm going to like miss loads. So I started hoovering them up and now look at the hoover when I turn it on, ready? <laughs> So tidy, isn't it, Adu? Yeah. Well done for your hard work and efforts. We got some new candles that Adam lit. They are very lit, but they also make the fireplace suddenly look so spooky, <laughs> unintentionally. But I like it. We've also done the dining room. I had. <laughs> The um, balloons in the fireplace for so long, so finally removed those. Chandelier currently now just sits in there, but that needs to go up, or I don't know what we're gonna do with that. But i um, got bedding ready for my parents because they're coming tomorrow, and cleared the dining table. There is now just a little skull sat here, but that's for my sister. It's actually her birthday present. <laughs> and kitchen's done. Lovely, clean old kitchen. That's recycling. Don't really have anywhere to put that yet. Our recycling bin is full and this is <laughs> clean dishes and whatnot. And I've also cleaned the bathroom. Bleached the sink. This is a new mat. <laughs> How cool is that? That came in the post today. The bathroom's all bleached. The toilet's all bleached. Uh, the bath is pretty shiny. <laughs> and everything's looking pretty shiny. So as you can see by the blinds, didn't end up having time to cut them today. By the time we cleaned the house, I was so done. So I did a little sneaky thing where I basically hid the disaster. <laughs> no one will have to know. Um, no, for now, I'm gonna have to just leave it like that and I'll cut it when I've got the time. Um, it's horrendous, but that is a temporary fix and I'm okay with that. Oh, look, that's creepy. Hey. <sighs> It is nearly midnight and I just spoke to my mum and dad on the phone and they are nearly on their way to come see me. This is literally going to be the first time they've come up to see me, um, which is really exciting. So I can't wait to have some... God, that's the first time I've heard upstairs flush their toilet. I'm really excited to see them and I'm going to quit. I'm going to cut this uh, vlog here. I'm going to finish the video now and start a fresh one tomorrow when my parents are here because I think it'll be really nice to watch that back in the future. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you again for my next one. Make sure you subscribe so that you're notified when I make a next one and click the bell because then YouTube will actually notify you. I'm on social media such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I have tarot readings. If you want one of those, then you can book them by emailing me in the email down there in my video description. Thank you very much for watching as always. See you soon!